Where is he coming from? Is he coming from the left? Or from the right? <laughs> or from... <laughs> I can show you. Um, Sasgrasek and welcome to Fitch. Yeah, um, I haven't done a video in a while, but I had so much work to do, I, I moved to a new place and I also did a lot of work. And as you can know, I do this money counting thing where I'm showing you how much money I make and how much money I spend on traveling. So here are the numbers, check them out and I'll see you guys in a minute. I made a good amount of money with DJing. I would like to tell you guys this wasn't a regular month. I'm not making so much money with DJing every month, but this one was a good one. And as I told you, I use that money to travel. So I booked some flights to Barcelona, to Berlin, and I'm going to do a road trip to Italy. But there is something, there is something huge coming up in December. I'm going far away for four weeks and I'm not going to tell you where I'm going. Um, subscribe to the channel so you will find out in December. But today's video is about cases, waterproof cases, waterproof bags and, and everything for underwater photography. This is what you're here for. Um, my new waterproof case for the Sony a7 III. But before I talk about this, I would love to talk about that. <laughs> you always hear me saying in previous videos that I love this waterproof bag, it's super cheap and it's so useful and that's true. I, I really love this bag, I used it a, a lot. But when it comes to diving and underwater photography and filming underwater and snorkeling, this isn't the best option because there are some small little holes and if you dive water will get to your camera and that's not good. That's not what we want. So this isn't an option for diving. But I, I still love it for wakeboard photos or wakeboard videos. That's pretty great. Today's video is all about this one. Hello. This is the Sea Frog case for the Sony A7 III. It's actually designed for the Sony A7R3, but it's perfectly working with the Sony A7 III as well. Um, I bought this online on the website of Sea Frogs, and everything went great. So you can trust the website. The, the customer service is perfect. I, I, I f yeah, I had a good feeling ordering this. I paid 950 bucks for this case and the price is shit. You know, it's so expensive, but overall it's still worth it. The main difference between this case and the waterproof bag is like you can dive 40 meters with this case and I'm only snorkeling and, and just diving a little, so this case is, is enough for me and is perfect. And something you don't get for the waterproof bags is a dome port, which is this part of the case. And what this does is it pushes away the water and it gives you those over those shots where you can see above the water and under the water at the same time. And I used this case in, in Croatia, I used it in in Mallorca and here are some shots from those two vacations where I tested and tried this case for the first time. But Lucas, which lenses do you use? My favorite lens overall is not the 10 to 18 millimeter, nope, it's the 
macro 30 millimeter lens from Sony. And this lens is perfect when it comes to underwater photography. Um, it's an APS-C lens and the Sony A7 III is an, an full frame camera which cuts down the, the megapixels a little bit but I still love this lens. It's so small, it fits perfectly in the, in the waterproof case and it's such a cheap lens and it works so great in the case. So this is my overall favorite. I use this a lot. A lot of those photos from the fish are made with this lens. When it comes to those half above, half under the water shots, I use the 10 to 18 millimeter lens. It's an APS-C lens as well, but I don't care as with the macro lens, but yeah, this is my go-to lens for those kind of shots because you can zoom out all the way to 10 millimeter. You don't see any any circles from the case, so it it's, it fits perfectly, I would say, and it's just a great lens. You know, you can get also like those selfie um, diving shots I did. Everything with the 10 to 18 millimeter lens. So that's my my second favorite lens for the Sony a7 III with the waterproof case. Um, I didn't know if the case is floating when the camera is inside and, and everything, but even when I put, wait, even, even when I put a big lens like the 24 to 105 on the camera and inside the case, this thing is still floating. So there is no way your camera is going down the ocean or the lake, wherever you shoot. So after using this case for, I would say two weeks, I'm blown away that the shots are amazing. I really, really love them. And also the size of this thing, you know, when I went to, to Maloka, I, I was able to, to get only hand luggage with me. And this fits perfectly in a, in a backpack and you can take off the you can take off the port and the case, so it's it's not not too big to travel with. So with the small Sony camera, also the case is really small. That's what I, I wanted to say. All the buttons over here are working perfectly with the Sony A7 III. It's pipi pe freddo. Overall, I really, really, really love this case. Um, on my future travels to Barcelona, I'm probably not taking it with me because we are going there skateboarding and in Berlin there is no ocean so no snorkeling. Um, yeah, to my trip to Italy I definitely going to bring this thing because yeah I'm going snorkeling there probably. I can tell you on my winter vacation this is coming with me for sure. So I hope you liked this video, I hope it was helpful. Subscribe to my channel and I see you guys in the next one. Peace!